Hi students, I want to help you with the following problem. It's problem 3 in our homework 4.1 and 4.2. So we're asked to draw a scatter diagram of this data. So somehow I have to graph all of these x inputs on this chart right here. I notice the difference between 22 and 18 is 4. This is 6. Then from 28 to 31 is 3. I notice that these intervals are not jumping at an equal rate. So somehow I have to have a graph with the lowest number on here, 18, and the highest number somewhere there fitting 43. I chose to work with the following interval. So there's a change of 6 between each interval. So this is 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now if I count back, if I count back 6, do you see that we don't reach 0? So we have to show that there's been a break in between 18 till 0. So you really have to show this break. Same thing on my y-axis, the sales in thousands of dirham. Um, I worked with jumps of or changes of four each time. But when I go back here, this is not taking me back to zero. This is eight in total. So same thing, I have to show that there's been a break. Now let's graph our data as accurately as we can. 18 is with 18, 18 with, this is 16, so right here you will find 18. A right in between 16 and 20. 22 with 16, this is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 with 16. 28 with 14. This is 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Together with 14. Whoops. 28 with 14. 14 is right in the middle of 12 and 16. Then we have 31. 31 with 12. 40. Again, we're dividing by 6, so 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, with 10. 10 is right in the middle of 8 and 12. And then 43, together with 8. So here's the completed graph. Make sure to always write down the numbers in, in between your big interval. So if you're using 40 together with 10, you have to indicate that in the graph. So this is 40 together with 10. That way you can easily read it afterwards as well. Now comment on the relationship between the two variables. Notice that this is a negative linear correlation. And we can say it's a strong negative linear correlation. Can you imagine the line running through here? The points are very close to that line. So we say it's a strong negative linear relationship. This would be another interval on the x-axis that would work and on the y-axis that would work. It's up to you which interval you choose. Just make sure that you graph as accurately as you can. For our next problem, it's asking us to use the least square method to find the regression equation. Do you remember our regression equation is y equals a plus bx. Again, you can find this in your calculator. Turn your calculator on, go to mode, then go to statistics, number three, stat, and then right here, number two, Let's enter our data. 
Okay, at this point I have entered all my X's and all my Y's in my calculator. So now we have to find out what the A is and what the B is. So go out of entering the data, therefore press AC, press AC, then press Shift 1 to go to statistics. Then it depends on which calculator you're using. In my calculator, regression is 5. In some calculators, regression is 7. Press 5 or 7. And then A, 1. This is your A. Now let's also find our B. Shift, stat, regression, B, so 2. So our regression equation is 24.4695 minus 0.3781x. Now they want us to plot the regression line on the scatter diagram. So that means we need two points. Now I cannot use zero. If I plug in zero, my answer will be 24.5. 24.5 does not fit on my diagram, so I need to use another number, another number besides zero. How about we just use 18? So when x is 18, let's solve for y. y is 24.4695 minus 0 0.3781 times x, and again I want to fill out, 18. Let's calculate this. You should get y equals 17, whoops, 17.4437. So now I know a point. The point is 18 and 17.4. 16 is right here, 18 is right there, so this is 17. This right here will be 17 and a half. So about right here will be 17.7. Let's graph a second point as well. So when X is, let's think what other X we can use. Um, I wanna use an X somewhere towards the end. I don't want to use too high values. I don't want to use 50, 51, you know, those values are too high. Um, I want to use values within this interval, within 18 and 43. I can use 42 or I can use 43. It's really whichever one you want, but towards the end of your data. You could use 44 as well. How about we use 43? When X is 43. So again, substitute this x into your equation. Instead of x, we're going to write down 43. And then you calculate your y belonging to that. 8.7474. So your point is when x is 43, your y is 8.7. All right, let's graph this. So x 43. Y is 8.78, this is 9, 8.7 is a little bit lower than 9, so right there, 8.7. There we go. Now try to make a line as accurately as you possibly can. Voila. One small remark, when we are drawing our line of regression, we do not draw the line further than the last point because we should really not be making predictions outside of our interval that was given between 18 and 43. Okay, the next question asks us to find the correlation coefficient R and comment on its value. So in your calculator, Go to statistics, shift one or shift statistics. Again, find regression, it's either five or seven. And then R, 
the correlation coefficient r. Okay, it tells us negative r equals negative 0 0.9915. Now, the negative sign means that it's a negative linear correlation. And it's very close to 1, so it's an almost perfect negative linear correlation. So again, it's a very strong, almost perfect negative linear correlation because it's very close to 1, well, negative 1. Our last question for this problem is asking to find the coefficient of determination r squared. Remember that we found r in the previous question. Now we just have to square it. 98% of the variation in sales is explained by the price. This means that you can be 98% certain that the regression equation, this regression equation, predicts the y values correctly.